Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I wanted to go over the Tugs and the MAV. I really don't think a lot of players understand the differences between these two gadgets, and so I wanted to take the time today to go over these differences and the benefits of each so that you guys have a better understanding of when to use them in different situations, so that when those situations do arise, you can make the informed decision on and what each, which one you should use. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the Tugs, and this is easily one of my favorite gadgets in Battlefield 3, and one of the best things about it is it's so small and at first glance you really wouldn't think that the size of a gadget would really be all that important but it really is in this case uh, so the fact that this is so small you can deploy this in a lot more locations compared to the MAV the MAV is a lot larger so it needs a larger surface area to deploy and that can get you killed in a lot of situations because I know personally when I try to deploy the MAV in uh, a location that has a lot of rubble uh, it can be difficult to find a place to deploy it, and that is not really that much, uh, it's not very difficult to do that with the tugs. It's, since it is so much smaller, it doesn't require as much surface area, and you can place it down in a lot of uh, different uh, surfaces, basically. Uh, another great thing with its size is that it's a lot harder to detect. So if you go into a building and you place it in the corner or you know someplace that's a little bit more hidden, it's going to be a lot harder for the enemy to, to find it and take it out. That compared to the MAV, that's a lot bulkier and it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. And because it's so small, you can also put it into nooks and crannies that wouldn't even be possible with the MAV. And so just, you would, like I said, you wouldn't think that the size of the tugs would really be that important, but it really is because it just makes it a much stiffer stealthier, a much stealthier uh, gadget, I guess, compared to the MAV. Uh, another great benefit of the tugs is, that it, is the fact that it deploys a lot faster than the MAV. If you're trying to use the MAV as a stationary motion sensor, you're going to have to place it on the ground, you instantly go into the camera, and then you have to come back out, and that process takes a couple of seconds. Uh, that compared to the tugs is a lot slower. Uh, the only thing you have to do with the tugs is, you know, bring it out, place it on the ground, and then you're done. And, the, and it works as a motion sensor. So, uh, you know, compared to the MAV, if you're just trying to use it as a motion sensor and you're trying to be very aggressive, you know there's a lot of enemies nearby, the tugs is going to be a lot more advantageous in those situations because it can get you killed if you're if you're going into the camera vision of the MAV and then trying to come back out, and which which does take a couple of seconds. Uh, so that's it for the benefits of the tugs. As for its negatives, there isn't a lot, but one of them is that it's stationary, so the only way to move this thing around is to pick it back up by, ples by pressing or holding down your reload button and then picking it back up and then manually going to that location and placing it back down. Uh, this can be a little frustrating if you place it down and you've moved a lot and you have to run back all the way back to your tugs. Uh, to pick it back up. So that's one thing that kind of sucks about it. It's not really a terrible thing about it, but it's, it's, it is a negative of it. Another negative aspect of the Tugs, which I was kind of surprised about, is that it has a smaller motion sensor range than compared to the MAV. I would have figured it would be the other way around, considering the MAV can fly around. But anyways, it has a range of 30 meters, and the MAV has a range of 35 meters for its motion sensor. And like I said, I was kind of surprised by this. It's only 5 meter difference, and the only way for me to test this was to go into a server and manually figure this out so my numbers could be off a little bit but I could tell that the MAV did have a larger range uh, compared to the tugs. Uh, so that's it for the tugs and moving on to the MAV which is a extremely powerful gadget in Battlefield 3 and one of the best things about it is that it can fly and the fact that it can fly you can spot for your allies it works as a motion sensor and like I said it has a 35 meter range around it so always good there and the probably one of the best things about it is that you can place it in locations that you normally wouldn't have been able to uh, compared to the tugs. So the fact that you can fly around, if there's an objective with a lot of enemies around it, if you try to move closer with maybe the tugs or something like that and then place the tugs on the ground, you could probably get yourself killed. But this, you can go into the backfield, you can deploy your MAV, fly it over to, or towards the objective, and then place it on the roof of a building around it, and then it essentially is a motion sensor mine that the enemies can't get anywhere near. Uh, this is fantastic. It can it can really switch the tides of a battle because you can essentially know where everyone on the enemy team is located at, or at least in that vicinity as long as they're moving, and it just works as a very effective way at clearing out certain locations that normally would be very difficult to take out. Uh, so another great thing with the MAV is that because it can fly, you can relocate relocate it really easily. So like I said, if you took out all those people that were in that dangerous location, you can just jump into the camera and then fly it over to another location without having to actually 
uh, go up to it like with the tugs and then picking it back up and then redeploying it. Uh, you can still do that if that's how you want to use it, but it does have that option so that you do not have to put yourself in harm's way and place this into locations that really would be very difficult if you were using the tug. So uh, the flight aspect of the MAV is really advantageous for this, uh, for this gadget. Uh, so another great thing about the MAV is that it will destroy enemy equipment. So if there is a spawning beacon down or another motion sensor, you can lock onto it with your MAV and take it out really quickly. Uh, it's not the best thing about it, but it can in some situations help your team out. And there's nothing wrong with taking out enemy equipment. That's always a good thing. Uh, as for its negatives, there aren't a lot, but like I mentioned earlier, it is it is a little bit slower to deploy compared to the tugs. So if you are in a sticky situation and you need to use it as a motion sensor, you need to take the couple of seconds to get into the camera and then jump back out, which can take a while and can get you killed. It's gotten me killed on numerous occasions, which is pretty frustrating, I have to admit. Uh, also, it's easy to spot, so if you're flying it around, all the enemy has to do is spot you and... Uh, it's much easier for pretty much everyone to just to target the MAV and take it out really quickly. Um, and also, like I said, it's, since it's bulkier, if you're using it as a stationary motion sensor, uh, it's easier for people to spot it in a corner uh, compared to the tugs as well. Uh, it can also be taken out by uh, stinger missiles. So that's also one thing you can need, you need to take into consideration when using this thing because it, it is a little bit easier for people to take this thing out. Uh, but yeah, guys, this about wraps up my video of the comparison between the tugs and the MAV. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned a couple of things. If you did enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you give it a rating. And also, if you'd like to see more videos from me, I recommend that you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter to be notified. But until next time, guys, have a good one and take it easy.